Hello lovelies! Welcome to PageCraft. I'm Paige and uh, we are doing a crafting chat today. So if you are new, a crafting chat is uh, quite simply what it sounds like. Uh, I am going to craft for a bit. For me it's a diamond painting. We are working on Toadstool Cottage today, which is my giant year-long project. Um, and it is my first craft and chat that features this project, so that's fun. And uh, yeah, I'm going to chat and hopefully we can keep each other company for a little while. Uh, you are free to uh, grab whatever project you're working on, no matter what craft it is, of course. Or you can just, you know, have me on in the background while you do your thing. It's completely up to you. But... Uh, so happy that I get to spend some time with you today. I do enjoy doing these chatty videos. And um, before I move more into the whole chatty part, I just want to <laughs> apologize for any and all sniffling and sneezing and what have you. Because yes, I am sick once again. I have been sick. Uh, I feel like I've been sick since February, basically. So... That is the current status. Uh, but yes, uh, what I'm working on is Toadstool Cottage, as I said. And uh, I'm, I'm uh, traveling light today, as you can see. This is my uh, Supply Beau pen, my mini floral pen. I tend to use this for rounds, it's just turned out that way. <laughs> um, here is just the wax that uh, came with the kit and a diamond art lab tray. I find these hold the round drills better ish. Well at least it works. <laughs> oh goodness. And this is just some patty that I put into one of my containers. It's uh, I don't have the package here at the moment, but it's just, you know, stationary petty that I put into a container for ease. And that is that, I think, today. Now, as I said, I am sick, so I might be a bit more all over the place than usual. Uh, or, or you might not be able to tell the difference with me. <laughs> And I'm I'm also a bit unsure of how long I can talk with you without, you know, just going into coughing fits and such. So we'll see how long I can go today. Um, you'll already know by the length of the video, of course, but we'll see. So I'm grabbing the first color. Um, so let me ask you, how are you doing? I've already been on about being sick, so I hope... I hope uh, this season has been treating you better <laughs> as far as health goes. I hope you're doing okay out there. Uh, we have been moving through second winter over here. Um, I think I've talked about it before on my channel in some video or other, but it's very, very common in this part of the world, which is Norway, if you're new. I, I'm Norwegian and I, I live in Norway. Um, we tend to have a trick spring or fool spring or what you want to call it, and then second winter comes. And that is exactly what has been happening here. We have had some lovely mild uh, spring days and then snow. A lot and lot a lot of snow. Um, so I don't know how long the second winter will last. There's no snow here right now, but <laughs> you never know. Snow can happen here until May. So, and we live in a very mild part of Norway. We are going for away on the Easter holiday, and we'll be going away to a not very mild part of Norway. But I'll talk more about that later. Uh, yes, I just stood up to check that I was recording because I do not trust myself today. Nope. I hope 
are not in view because uh, what you will be seeing, if I manage to poke my head into view, is uh, tissue paper sticking out of my face because that's how I'm dealing with the whole uh, sniffling situation right now. <laughs> it was the same yesterday when I recorded the Toadstool Cottage, um, this canvas, Toadstool Cottage update uh, video. <laughs> I had to do that with a tissue in my face. Um, so yeah, if you if you are new, um, I do updates on the progress on this canvas uh, every second week. So I, there's like a dedicated playlist for that. I could always link that down below if you're interested. Because um, there is a few kind souls who are interested to see how this will go because <laughs> Um, I mean, it's a gorgeous canvas. Uh, I love this canvas so much. Um, I've been very happy with it so far. It's from Diamond Painting Shop. If I didn't already say that. Um, and it was a Christmas gift from my partner, Perrin. And uh, it was very special to me because, um, yeah, for a lot of like import reasons and such, it's not that easy to to get a hold of for me here in Norway and uh, this was like um, a unicorn canvas for me so it's, it's very special to me and I'm very happy that I get to work on it and uh, I have kind of dedicated this year to this canvas uh, hoping to complete it this year it is massive it's 90 by 135 centimeters um, and it is very doable to be able to complete it this year but I say that because last year was my first year of diamond painting and uh, basically my other major project on this channel is to uh, finish some of my 15 whips that I have going so I have kind of a bad track record of finishing things or rather I, I don't I just start new stuff all the time, so I'm working on that. <laughs> so it's not like guaranteed that I will be able to finish this uh, by the end of the year, but it's it's very likely, I believe, even though I'm behind right now. Um, I talked about that in the updates. I'm not gonna repeat everything for for you know all of all of you who aren't new here. You might have already seen it and such. So. Uh, but yes, I believe, I believe, and uh, no matter when I finish this, I am thoroughly enjoying working on it. Very, very happy uh, that I get to do that. So, in other other diamond painting news, uh, I've been doing uh, all right with my moderation goal that's another of my goals for this year to be a bit more moderate in my purchases so i talked about i talked about that in my last monthly update um that i've set kind of i've defined what i mean uh with moderation and for me that is one to two canvases a month oh i spilled i spilled drills oh goodness do you ever do that when you shake the tray and they just kind of jump out of it? Uh, not static, it's just me having poor technique. But yes, oh goodness, I uh, yeah, I've uh, I was talking about moderation, and I've been doing all right. I've been resisting diamond upkeep's uh, constant releases of uh, beautiful canvases. Um, but basically I have uh, I have uh, gone up to that limit and I may have looped hole a little bit and I'll, I'll tell you I'll tell you tell you what I'm talking about so the last craft and chat I showed you um, my daisy canvas which is my very 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 first diamond dots kit so the unboxing for that will be up next week so you'll have something at least next next week when I'm away uh, on Easter holiday. Uh, but I've also 
went and made an order with Oraloa again. And I'm kind of curious to hear what you think about that when I do receive it. Um, it will probably be a little while before I receive the diamond painting part of the order. But um, the loophole thing was <coughs> technically I bought three crafting projects, two diamond paintings. I may or may not have bought a cross stitch. And I'm very, very excited to see what that's all about because I uh, have actually not done a whole lot of cross stitch before. So, you heard it here first. I went and bought one of Oraloa's stamped cross stitch kits. So, we'll see what that's all about. I'm very excited and curious about it. Um, but, uh, <laughs> that means I technically have been good. This is, uh, I'm filming this on Friday, the 31st. So I have only bought two diamond paintings this month of March. But, uh, I have technically bought three projects. So, I don't know. Um, I feel like I did good. <laughs> what do you think? You can tell me. Um, I'm gonna do a monthly update as well for uh, April, but that one will be a bit delayed um, because, um, because I'm sick and we are going away, basically. So I have to prioritize and I wanted to, uh, really wanted to do a craft, crafting Craft and chat with you today. Crafting, craft, chat. Oh, goodness. Oh. But that was my whole Oraloa thing. And as for the canvas I bought, I don't want to say yet. I don't want to say yet. But uh, I'm looking forward to show you. I'm looking forward to show you. And yes, I'm being a bit of a tease right now, but uh, yeah, I, I, uh, I'm looking forward to show you and hear your thoughts once I can do that unboxing video. And speaking of unboxings, oh goodness, I have not forgotten about my Craftably unboxings. I have two unboxings left of my pre-order that I got uh, last month. I got a pre-order with uh, four kits from Craftably, uh, and I had a poll going on my channel about, I unboxed one of them, uh, one of the kits in that, you know, receiving the uh, pre-order box unboxing, <laughs> and then I did a poll on which kits to unbox next, and I've already picked up the unboxing of the one that won. <laughs> that poll and I haven't forgotten about the other two uh, they will arrive on the channel in, um, at some point during the next few weeks but I also a couple of days ago I received my final crafted Bee box because I was able to make a purchase on the break it, the break it sale and I have received that box and I have not been able to open it even but I'm really looking forward to sharing that with you uh, at some point during April I think uh, I have to I can't I can't be more specific than that right now because uh, uh, we are going away and I am sick so I can't do as much as I would love to do and things are also gonna ramp up quite a bit with work uh, the next couple of months. Um, for those of you who are new, I work as a teacher. Um, yes, um, my students are mainly 15 years old and I teach Norwegian. And this is going to be a busy season, basically. Uh, I have also been sick a lot, like a lot, an absurd amount. So 
I'm not exactly caught up with my work. So uh, I'm still going to to prioritize my channel, but I'll have to be realistic about it so I don't completely destroy myself. Uh, so that just means that I can't uh, promise you like three unboxings a week and such. That's just not realistic for me right now. Uh, but I am going to continue with the Toadstool Cottage uh, updates and I will get those unboxings out uh, eventually. It just might be a bit more spaced out than it would be uh, normally, basically. So I hope that's okay with you. Because that's what I'm able to do right now. But uh, I am very thankful for the time that I do get to spend with you. So I'm going to choose to focus on that. And uh, I'm looking forward to the summer holiday, summer break, when I can yeah, do more of my creative work, as it were. So... Uh, I have mentioned probably a few too many times now that uh, we have been sick a lot here, but we did manage last weekend, we managed to go for a walk uh, at a local park, so to speak. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, I love doing outings with my family. Uh, my family is myself, my partner Perrin, and my daughter. She's turning two next week, actually, which is insane. Where did the time go? Everyone says that who's a parent, I feel like, but it's so true. <laughs> she came, uh, she's also been feeling unwell. She's the one that uh, gave me the bug that I'm currently struggling, struggling with, So, but she was still feeling a bit unwell and came into our bed uh, last night and I I just had one of those moments where I look at her and just go she's so big I remember when she was this little thing <laughs> when we carried her to bed and yeah she she she's turning two but she looks like she's three or four like she, she's a girl what can I say? She's a very healthy <laughs> young girl, uh, which we're thankful for. But yes, we went for a walk, uh, and it was a lot of fun. A, a bit chilly, because as I said, second winter. But there wasn't a lot of snow, and uh, it was so good to get out of the house for a bit. Because again, we've been sick a lot in this trip last weekend was like in the, one of those pockets where none of us have a fever. My daughter got sick the next day. <laughs> oh, and then I got sick after that. So, But we went for that walk. It was very nice. Um, and she loved it. She uh, got to run on the tracks. Uh, because the, this is a park where, with a lot of pathways. And she got she was allowed to run as long as she stuck to those pathways. Because uh, she is, again, she is just about to turn two, so she hasn't fully learned yet the whole uh, how to stay safe when you're out and about yet. So uh, we kept a very close eye on her, which was good because uh, she, t she took just about every opportunity to go uh, head straight for the water or right into a ditch. Um, and go exploring, which is good, but uh, again, she's about to turn two, so she doesn't really know how to keep herself alive on her own, so. But she loved running. She just ran ahead of us and laughed. That, you know, pure uh, kind of schadenfreude-ish uh, laughter, joy thing that toddlers do, which was great. And then we had some waffles, which was also nice. So, 
so that is uh, that is what has been going on with us it's not that exciting news really we've been sick a lot um, my partner has been doing okay um, he has like he's from the Norwegian mountains and I feel like his constitution is just like he was born in ice or something I don't know like we used to joke that they, up there they just, you know, um, what's the word? Carve, maybe? People out from the ice? <laughs> and like, that's how you come into the world? I don't know. But yes, uh, he's, he's stayed fairly healthy, which is good. Uh, right now, I tend to get sick easily and I stay sick for a long time which is a pain but what can I do? I did the drill thing again um, excuse me but speaking of my partner there's a thing I need to run by you because I have this peeve as one gets with partners that you live with over time. I have this peeve and it's diamond painting related. He diamond paints as well. And he is um, nearing completion on his canvas. But he has decided to have like the bottom, the bottom part of the canvas. And we're talking like a quarter of a like 50 by 70 ish canvas. The bottom quarter he's decide decided to keep the entire sheet of plastic across it and he just rolls the entire thing the entire sheet of plastic back every time like he doesn't cut off bits as he finishes or anything just has the entire thing and by now he has like a bottom corner left and it still has this giant sheet of plastic and I think he partly why he does it is because it annoys me maybe but he also says that he wants the satisfaction of picking up a giant sheet of plastic when he's done which is fair but I don't get it like it's okay he it's his canvas but I don't understand <laughs> could you help me understand do you do this have you heard about anyone doing that? It's so weird. I think it's so weird. For for me, I it's just that I get my joy from uh, finishing sections and removing the plastic as I go. Like that's fun for me. So I don't understand why you would want this giant unwieldy sheath or piece of plastic that you just like roll over every time that makes no sense some of the time but yes that was uh, <clears throat> i just had to get that out there uh, out there and i would love to hear um what you think if you want to meddle in the, my peeve that i have going on there oh, excuse me i need to have some coffee So I'm not going to go on for much longer because um, <laughs> I feel like uh, I feel like I'm not entirely coherent and such. But if you stayed with me this long, and you were getting a bit worried that I forgot what day it is, don't worry. You don't have to worry. It is time to announce the winner of my 100 subscriber giveaway, and I. I kind of had to sit on my hands to not blurt it out like at the start of the video because it was a lot of fun to do. But with, for, without further introduction, let me just roll the clip. Yay! <laughs> I may have got, gone a tiny bit overboard, but uh, yay! 
congratulations, Shannon. Uh, I did the drawing uh, this morning. And yes, you are the lucky winner. Please uh, contact me by email and we will get uh, you the gift card from Diamond Art Club. My email is in the description below or you can find it in my about. But yes, please contact me and we will get it sorted. And uh, uh, thank you to everyone who joined in that giveaway. It was so much fun to get to do and I am hoping that I get to do another one at some point. Um, yes, so I hope you didn't mind the fireworks because I just, I got a bit excited. <laughs> oh goodness. So, I think that is, I'm, I am uh, going to wrap it up now uh, because I have to pack for our trip. We are, as I've said, we're going away for the next week on Easter holiday. Uh, so there will be at least one unboxing for you while I'm away. The unboxing will be the project that I'm going to work on on Easter holiday. So I'm excited to share that with you when we get back. Uh, you know, how, how that went. I, there's a good chance that I'll be able to finish it while we are away. So that is good. Um, oh, well, let me know what you are doing for Easter, by the way. That would be a lot of fun to hear. Uh, we are, after all, international here, so I'm sure there's a lot of different traditions, and maybe you don't really have a tradition when it comes to Easter. You could let me know about that as well. Uh, I'm always interested in hearing from you, and I love uh, hanging out in the comments, so please feel free to drop a comment if you want to. But for now, I think that is it. Uh, thank you for spending some time with me today. I am certainly thankful that I got to spend some time with you. And uh, yeah, until next time, I wish you well. And happy crafting. Bye bye.